Ed did not see the arm for the crossing. Wow. Hi everyone, JJ here. Welcome back. Well, Tesla FSD and Robo Taxis can still miss railroad crossing arms coming down across the road and similar barriers like that as well across the road. We've got a video of that. And just today we had this post on X. Well, two posts, one from Jerry Rig Everything who comments on Joe Techmeyer's post. Joe is a Tesla influencer. Well, he's been invited to test out RoboTaxi in Austin there. He's taken a number of trips, quite a lot of trips. I've seen some of his video and good on him for saying this because he didn't necessarily need to say it, but I think he realizes that it needs to be fixed. But Jerry Rig Everything says, Dude would have been hit by a literal train without Tesla's safety passenger. That's the engineer sitting in the passenger seat ready to hit the kill switch to stop it if necessary. And this was necessary in this case. So he says without the safety passenger hitting the emergency stop button. And then he still calls FSD unsupervised, supervised. Amazing. I have no words. But Joe says in this post, first 42 minute RoboTaxi ride. So yes, a significantly wrong, long ride there. Complete follow along on this ride with me. And I've got some observations and things to talk about along the way. Now we didn't video the situation with the railroad crossing as it happens, but I have some other incidents like that. This ride was almost perfect, but I did have one instance of the safety driver having to intervene at a railroad crossing. Okay, so let's take a look at the video and then I'll discuss it afterwards. Let's see exactly what he said, exactly what happened. And, uh, you know, the the standard uh, things that everybody have noticed as far as the smoothness, the decision making, um, and just how it handles all of those situations has been pretty good. I would uh, just want to say that uh, with, uh, you know, to be complete honest, there was one incident that uh, I did not get on camera, uh, but we were uh, waiting at uh, a light and uh, there was also a uh, railroad traffic, uh, railroad crossing right by that traffic uh, area. And uh, as we were waiting, uh, the uh, lights came on for the train to come by and the uh, uh, kind of the, the arm started coming down and uh, the robo taxi uh, did not see that and they uh, the safety observer had to do a uh, stop of the vehicle until the train had passed and uh, so i would say that there's a little bit of that work that still needs to uh, be polished up with the uh, software um, but uh, you know, otherwise, I think it's been uh, just an amazing uh, uh, opportunity to see how well the expanded service is working and uh, just see a lot more of Austin. Okay, so explained it there. Now, presumably there were, there were lights as well. Those are, you know, crossbars that come down and lights flashing. So FSD or the RoboTaxi obviously didn't see that. Now, Joe's being fairly nonchalant about it here, being pretty casual about it, but really a really dangerous situation. Now, imagine if you were in a robot taxi and you're in the back seat, you're the only one in there, that safety monitor wasn't there. You would really not want that to happen. No doubt they will have an end ride button in the back seat there, but a really dangerous situation. The gravity of this, he doesn't really convey it. And, you know, maybe he does. he wants to be invited back by Tessa. Kim Java had a phantom braking issue that I showed as well and good on her for showing that as well. You know, the errors because they need to be shown to be fixed. But this one, you'd think they would have fixed this by now if they're going out with an actual robo taxi. And there have been incidents like this in the past, which I'm going to show now. This one here was back in January. And people will say, yes, well, that was an earlier version of FSD, but it really wasn't that long ago. Now he says, danger zone, Tessa FSD nearly collides with railroad crossing. Just posted a video where Tessa full self-driving FSD came dangerously close to railroad crossing arms. Let's just have a look at the video. It's pretty self-explanatory here. It's not one that's coming down. It's just that it decides to go inappropriately. Let's see what she's going to do here. I don't know if it's going to see the uh, arm for the crossing. No, it doesn't see the arm for the, look at this, it doesn't see the arm for the crossing at all. Ed did not see the arm for the crossing. 
Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I'm on FSD 12542. Holy <laughs> mm. Okay, so yes, he is on an earlier version there, of course, and people will say that in the comments, I'm sure. Back in January, you can see the details there that he has. He does a lot of videos. And it obviously didn't see that bar coming across all the lights. The lights are on too. So it has been a recurring problem that's happened. Now this one too shows a similar barrier, but it's not a train crossing. So FSD makes him go into a side road off the highway, it looks like. FSD ran me straight into a blocked road and it said it scared him. You can see the text there, but just look at the video again. It's pretty self-explanatory what happens. Going into that side road there. And he stopped right there. He had to stop. It would have taken him right into that barrier. So again, a recurring problem. And this one too, which I have showed in a video before it jogged my memory. Well, I unfortunately had my first serious FSD situation. And this is definitely a fan of Tesla. He is still complimenting Tessa about it, but really he said, well, I was sitting there stopped and waiting for the train. The FSD decided to go forward. So again, it was a similar situation where the, the train, the bars were down and it started to go forward. The train actually hadn't come through yet, but it started to move because it obviously didn't see. So is this a problem with, you know, the camera only in, in AI that can't see these barriers where with LiDAR it might be able to, well, it would be able to surely. And it didn't feel like the typical creeping forward, he says, it will sometimes do at a red light. It seemed like it was going to blast right through the stop bar. I jumped on the brakes pretty quick. And as I came to a stop, I looked left and that train was in my face. So if it had gone forward, it, it really disastrous situation. So let's look at the video here. You can see the arms coming down. Now FSD obviously does see the arms coming down. There's a car in front, perhaps that helps. And there's a, you know, the arms come down. It does stop and the train is coming. You can, you have to keep watching because it, it lurches forward. As he said, it's not just the creeping, it lurches forward and he hits the brakes. It's just really quick. But if it had gone forward, you can see the train is gonna come blasting through any second now. So it would have been a terrible situation had it blasted through those barriers and kept going. Wham, there's that train coming through. So that is repeatedly the same sort of incident over and over and with robo taxis now that are on the streets in austin this seems like a dangerous situation by the way if you're getting value out of this episode so far please remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people it really would help thank you for that and here we have a similar situation that i just had in a video a few days ago it's not a barrier but it's a similar situation where the car is coming okay. forward we'll just have a look I can't actually turn here and I don't know. I don't know if so that's a thin barrier there. It's a chain link fence, which is even thinner than those ro railroad barriers. So the cameras seem to have difficulty with this. Actually, you can see that the sun glare as well. So maybe that contributed to it in this situation. I don't know, but it seems like they haven't solved this. We could say that these were months ago. This is pretty recent. But, you know, it's still happening with robo-taxis. Obviously, as Joe said there, it's still happening. So when are they going to fix this? It seems dangerous. There's no way they can get rid of that safety monitor as long as this keeps happening. And here's one that I put in another video earlier. Tesla in self-drive mode hit by train after turning onto train tracks. So it wasn't hit very hard. I just sort of clipped the mirror, I think, and it started driving up the train tracks the person in the vehicle apparently had it set on self-driving mode. We can see here in the article at the time, according to the local fire commissioner, the car was in self-drive mode when it happened, which seems to suggest the driver was using either autopilot or Tesla's so-called full self-driving software. Now, there was an indication in this article that also said they might have been lying or they, they hadn't determined yet. It was yet to be determined that they might be blaming the software, but they actually turned on the tracks. But it's hard to see how they would have gone around the barrier and turned into the tracks, which is what happened there. 
So multiple situations of this. What do you think about this? It seems incredible to me that they haven't solved this yet and they've actually let robo taxis go in austin there yes with a safety driver and as i said it seems very very much needed as joe said well he didn't say this but he was sitting in the back seat he was pretty casual about it but if there had been no safety monitor there what would have happened a really dangerous situation let me know what you think about this in the comments do you think that they've still got a way to go. It's like they're testing in public on the roads now with that safety monitor when things like this start happening. It's a very specific problem. And there's only a few people who seem to be talking about this. There's a lot of, you know, Tesla influencers carefully invited people to ride in those cars. But we can still get video of this. So it makes me wonder how much this does happen out there in the wild. If this has happened to you, do let us know in the comments and let me know what you think about this in the comments too. Now also, on a personal note, I'd like to say thanks to everybody in the comments in the last video who mentioned Minnie, our cat, who's recently died and is buried outside that window under a nice tree that we planted. A lot of people commented on it, and thanks for that. Thanks for the kind words from everybody. I just wanted to say that I can't reply to everybody's comment. There's just so many, but thanks very much for that and i do appreciate it and right now i'm going to put a related video right there do go and see that now if you want to and always a subscribe link on the screen do subscribe if you're not yet and you have come here a few times do follow if you want to get more of this from me in the near, very near future thanks for watching this one too and i'll see you in the next one